Hey guys, I'm going to do a real quick simple review on a book I read at the beginning of February, I want to say, and it was The Home of Unwanted Girls by Joanna by Joanna Goodman. And this book uh, came out last year and it was kind of on my radar. I kept seeing it pop up for historical fiction, so finally I picked it up. And also it drew me in and I was interested to the book because the storyline was something I had never read before in historical fiction. So I had heard stories about this, like taking history classes, but it's about girls who gave up their babies and then these orphanages got turned into like mental asylums I guess because the nuns or the people running them they got paid more for mental patients than they did for actually orphans and which likely so you need a lot more doctors and everything in the other case in the other scenario so they did this but then they treated them like that and they were treated it horribly and devastating and harshly so the storyline starts out very early on. It starts about the mother and you follow these two women. You follow, um, you follow Maggie, L.O.D. Um, and then Gabriel is also a huge part of the story, but you don't follow his storyline. So Maggie and L.O.D., um, Maggie is the mother and L.O.D. is the child that gets put in the orphanage. Maggie falls in love with a French boy and her family is mixed, which at the time in Canada, in Canada uh, the French and English were real kind of devices for each other and did not mix but her uh, father did marry a French woman and but her father the entire time is like do not date a French guy do not date a French guy and warns him against him but she has been like in love with this boy who's worked in the fields near her since she was little and they end up getting together and that's a tiny bit of the love story in the beginning but most of the story is about um, her family at the time because it was the 50s I believe just wanting to be proper so they hide her away in an aunt's house she has the baby and um, and then the baby gets put in this orphanage and then then the orphanage you start hearing from the child when she's a little bit older I think when she's about three and then from there the orphanage gets turned into the mental institute and you just kind of follow both of their storylines and where they go and uh, in the end it's a happier ending I don't want to give anything away and but there are a ton of triggers in this book there's um there's rape uh, and um there there's like rape and beatings and um a lot of abuse and I mean there's just there's so many things that are quite sad in this book um so Elodie has had quite a harsh life and like some of her friends get lobotomies and they're chained up and they're underfed and uh, and they're stuck in this recluse environment and they get stopped getting taught and <clears throat> and uh, you feel really bad but for some reason in the end of the book the child Elodie um, she gets out of it and then she because she's grown up basically they have to put her out of the system and the, at the time everything's changing so they're like finding out about all these children who who were treated this or were treated horribly so she kind of gets pushed out of the system with absolutely no help almost and gets like a simple job and then ends up having a nice weekend with a boy and end up getting pregnant like her mom just kind of ends up being single and pregnant again and she at the same time she doesn't seem to struggle which I find I mean she struggles a little bit Elodie does um but I she doesn't seem to struggle as much as I thought she would and she uh the the writer herself gave the character a ton of grace a ton of grace towards her parents and what like the situation she got put in and her mom you can follow her storyline and her storyline is quite different she ends up growing up and marrying somebody else and like going to school like she wanted to and and then she meets up with Gabriel again and he's also married at the time but I don't want to give everything away I mean the story was good I think I gave it a four maybe yeah I think I gave it a four stars it was really good it was really intricate it is hard to remember all the details there was nothing bad about the writing I just remember it being a little bit slow and uh, the story was long because it had to cover so much time span and I wonder if some of it could have been cut out. And so the story was a bit long and some of it could have been cut out. And then also, yeah, I think there was just a little too much grease. I mean, maybe that's who that person was and that's who the writer wanted him to be. But I thought there was just a little, a little bit too easy for Elodie in the end and a little too much grace she was given. I did like that it was a happy ending 
And just because when there's so much sadness, you you really deserve it at that point. But yeah, it was a unique story. I haven't read something in historical fiction before. I would suggest if you like historical novels, if you like historical romance novels as well, um, it fits a little bit of that, but I would definitely recommend it to people who like historical romance. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.